Hi, it's Brian here, Bizarre Props. Uh, hope you're well today. Okay, this is a little um, intro sort of instructional video for my mini vape smoke machine. Uh, there's a few people out there have bought it. Um, unfortunately, um, I, I've, I've never really had time to write any instructions down, so I thought to do this video. And this'll, unless things change, uh, this will um, suit uh, this model of the, of the vape smoke machine. So what the kit you get is you get a nice little bit of um, uh, silicon rubber hose, you get a remote, you get a battery, you get some of the fluid, you get, ooh, let me see, you get um, a charger for the battery, okay, uh, what else have we got, got the fluid and then we do have the machine, there it is, this is a 3D printed box, all the gubbins inside, there's a pump, there's the uh, thing for the remote and this thing here, now this thing is a push fit off uh, for pneumatic tools, compressors, that sort of thing. Um, and it's connected to the vape there, okay? <clears throat> so that's that's it, it's as simple as it gets. Um, so let me just explain, okay? The fluid is my own mix, but you can just go to a vape shop and get yourself, they sell it cheap in car boot sales and everywhere now, so just get yourself some that, just the same job. I just did a slightly better mix on mine, really, because I'm sad and I sit and experiment with things. <laughs> anyway, right. So, uh, the way this works is, if you want to fill it, and a word of advice is, um, if you do, if you don't use this thing for a while, you'll see what I'm gonna do now. Uh, when you take the vape part out, um, empty it until you're ready to use it again, then give it a little fill. So we're going to take it out. There we go. We'll tip it so it's it's facing down. This bit here is facing down to the uh, table or whatever. And then we just give it a little twist like this. And it comes out. And there it is there. Okay. Now, if we look, if we turn, let me turn this. Okay. You should be able to see another. You see how this is filled here. Right? It's filled up. But there is another tube inside. When you fill this up, don't go past that tube because it's just going to go everywhere. Okay, so just don't go past that. Just the only, if you're not only using it for a couple of uh, puffs of smoke during during whatever you're doing, um, do it about halfway, even less than I've got in there. I don't know why I've got that much in here, to be honest. Uh, so uh, the way you fill it is I'm going to use, let me stand that up. I'm going to use, turn this back here like this. Um, just some vape fluid I bought from a shop, okay? This is the one that you'll get with the kit. So I'll unscrew this. It says child friendly. Okay, and then the pointy bit here goes down there to the side. Don't go in the middle bit. You can, can we see that in there? You can see the light reflecting off it, right? Don't go down that middle bit, go down the side and then just, just pour a little bit in. I'm not gonna do any because there's quite a bit in there already. Okay, um, so once you've filled it, you, you just repeat. So, uh, oh, yeah, so what, also what you're gonna do is, if you're not again, if you're not using it, do what I've just done to take that out and empty, empty it out. Okay, Let's take a bit of tissue in and just um, you know let it dry out. Okay, so then, so we've filled this now, so we're gonna put it back in. Remember, face, facing down. Screw it the opposite way. You can feel the thread in there. You'll feel it pick up that's picked up and it's tightened up there. Okay, so that's ready to go now. And uh, just move this um, this vape fluid out of the way here. Okay, so come back to the charger. We will start this up in a minute. This is the charger. Uh, plug it into a, a to a, a USB socket and put your battery in and away you go. I do advise you, okay, there's a numbers on the side of that. I do advise you to go maybe onto, I got these off eBay. Uh, someone was selling four for, for so much. Uh, go on and get yourself, just get a couple of spares, okay, and keep them on charge. Because I don't know how long the batteries last. Okay, so that's that there. Yeah. Nice little charger, then use them for other things as well. Um, I also uh, advise you, because it's not, it's not a full-blown smoke machine like discos and stuff like that. So it's a tiny little thing for prop work. If you're taking photographs, a bit of smoke, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, short bursts, right? You won't get loads of minutes out of it because it is only um, a vape. Where's it gone there? Right, yeah, so it's just, it is only a vape and that amount of fluid is not going to last long. Plus, if you use all the fluid, uh, you're going to burn the element out. 
and uh, there you go it's not going to work basically you can change the element but um i haven't done one of those yet so until i've done one of those i can't show you how to do it okay because i haven't burnt one out so inside there is a pump and there's a thing for the remote control okay we'll put the battery in now it sounds louder than it is because i'm stuck in a little room and the camera is close to the to the uh to the thing so it's it's not as loud as it'll sound on this video here okay so a button you press smoke comes out move that pipe out the way smoke comes out and then you let go of the button and it stops that's great because it just drifts down that's great isn't it uh the b button you press it take your finger away and it carries on until you press the button again so that one I think it's called momentary. And this one's latch. Okay. Great stuff. Lord me. But it's, like I say, I do emphasise it sounds louder because it's close to the camera. Now, this hose is for, if you want to hide the, the little smoke machine in a, in a little cupboard, little somewhere, a little whatever, where you can't see it, uh, you can use this pipe. This pipe, because this is a push fitting for uh, air, air, air supply stuff, so that just goes in there. You can get lots of different pipe. Uh, I'll just show you. Uh, this is like when you got uh, compressors and stuff. This this is quite quite rigid. This one, um, and there's also if you got a different diameter, which I had on some of them. Um, smoke comes out great on these, but it's just a bigger diameter. You get more coming out. Okay, so we've got that on there. So this, you could come down your sleeve or it could just go through a little hole in a prop or something, this. So let's start it up again. So imagine this is hidden away. Ignore the noise. Like I say, it's too close to the camera. But we press it on the on the latch. And out comes the smoke. Look at this. Wow, fantastic. Look at that fantastic stuff. You can do it with the momentary one, but when you first use it, it just takes a little couple of seconds for it to get down the pipe, okay. But yeah, it's great. Uh, so that's it, basically. So the kit you get, like I'll just, just say it again, you get the hose, you get the machine, you get the battery, you get the charger, uh, you get the remote, and you get a bottle of fluid to get you going. Now then, if you do want another remote, um let me know and uh i'll well i actually won't be able to program it uh so the kits i've got going out now i'm going to make uh cloned remotes for them and if you need them let me know or you could buy your own clone remotes it's not it's not rocket science so go on again go on aliexpress go on um eBay, you pay a bit more. Um, it's a bit, 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 bit fiddly to figure out, but you can always buy your own, or you can get one off me. Just let me know. And I'll, um, what I'll do, I'm going to make some copies of the of the, the, these few that are going out. All right. I hope you found that uh, informative. Um, hope you enjoy your little device. Uh, let me know. Keep your eye out because I'm I'm coming up with some other stuff now as well. Uh, it just takes me a while because I'm just thinking too much. Um, yeah, lovely. Anyway, enjoy your day. Thank you.